facts. Mr. Speaker, the height of hypocrisy for a minister is to invent a policy in order to attack his opponents, to claim that it will increase the price of everything and that even families will be lost, and then to present a plan that will in fact raise the price of all cars. The fight against climate change costs money, but inaction is even more expensive. How much will people have to pay for their car taxes? Honourable Minister of the Environment. On the contrary, Mr. Speaker. Save Canadian money over the uh, life of their new cars, uh, up to $900 per year per car in fuel cost savings. Compared to 2008 models, vehicles rolling off the line in 2025 will produce almost 50 percent fewer greenhouse gas emissions and consume up to 50 percent less fuel. The NDP's ill-considered $21 billion carbon tax will increase the cost of cars and gasoline and just about everything else. The Honourable Member for Halifax. It wouldn't kill them to add a few facts to their answers from time to time, so let me help them out. The fact is we've been waiting for years for regulations on oil and gas. The fact is Conservatives have not taken climate change seriously. And the fact is Conservative inaction means we're now lagging behind in the global community. And the fact is the Minister refuses to share the details of his costly and ineffective sector-by-sector -sector approach. So, Mr. Speaker, does the Minister even know what the price tag will be? Excellent question. Mr. Speaker, um, our, uh, as I reported earlier this year, and as we go sector by sector, we see costs and benefits. We're heavily into the Bennett side of the two sectors already regulated. You can find the results on the uh, Environment Canada website. And we are halfway to achieving our Copenhagen uh, 2020 uh, reduction targets. Our plan is to actually reduce greenhouse gas emissions while the NDP's $21 billion carbon tax would not, is not guaranteed to reduce a single ton of, of CO2. Wow. 